What's up, Spewball? We're in the car here with Steve. We're in the fucking Civic. It's Mustang Day. And it's Unstorage Day. <laughs> yeah. All right, now I'm going to calm down and talk to you guys about uh, storing and unstoring, as I would call it, a vehicle. Okay? So, um, you know, I hope you guys enjoy the, uh, you know, the cold start. Like, very cold start. Like, yeah. The coldest start, you know. When was so, the last time you started again? It was probably two, three months ago. Oh my god! So, I've ha had the car in storage since November. It is now April, mid-April. So, November, December, January, February, March, April—five whole months completely stored. And now the weather's looking good here in Michigan. You know, hopefully, um, yeah. I still have the Jeep, so um, you know, I, I'm keeping it. I'm not storing that, so in case there is bad weather, I can still drive it. But there's been so many nice days, I, I just have to drive the Mustang. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I do before I store it and what I do after I store it. So going to before, pretty simple. I have a battery tender. Then what you do is I hook that up, right? Battery tender. Then I fill the tank with 93. So I, I'm in the E85 tune, so I switch back to 93. You know, empty, I empty the tank, switch back to, you know, fill up 93, and, yeah, uh, you know, tune it, tune it for 93. And then what I do is I buy a fuel stabilizer, follow the instructions on the fuel stabilizer, and then run the car a little bit so it, you know, it mixes in. And then um, I, may, I might even drive it a little bit, you know, just to get it really in there. And then Steve's really doing some tar hard pull and pulls in the, on, this feels yeah, so fast right. for me, you know? <laughs> this is like the fastest car I've been in in a while. So, and then what you do is you, I just put it in my garage, right? Yeah. Put, put it on woods, uh, you know, I put like some blocks in front of the tires and behind them wherever, so it doesn't go anywhere. I take the e-brake off, so it's just kind of standing there. And um, that's it. And then I just kind of let it do its thing. Battery, battery tender, state fuel stabilizer, you know, do that whole process. And, um, you know, I just park it, pull the e-brake off. So it's just sitting on the, you know, on the wood. It's keeping it from rolling. And that's all I do. I know a lot of people are concerned with, um, you know, um, oh, uh, you know, your flat spots on tires and all this stuff. And, oh, I do this, I do that. I'm just letting you guys know how I do it and how it's been working for me. I only store the car for five months. So, you know, what are you going to do in five months? I mean, it's not that long. It's not like, oh, I store it for, you know, eight months at a time, whatever. In five months, the car is fine. So I kind of uh, neglected it a little bit this year where I didn't start it as often. It was, you yeah, know, three, you usually like, start a little yeah, It hasn't been three months. It's been like a month and a half. But every two weeks, it says to start it. Just let it heat up to operating temp with the heat all the way up. That's what it says in the user manual. And then it says to, um, to drive, it like drive it a little bit, you know, just so the tires, you know, get to move a little bit. And it works well for me because I have a garage that's insulated too. So it doesn't get too cold. So the tires have been fine. I've been storing it now for two, two storage seasons. I've had the car for three years now. Um, actually just, yeah, that's it's, it's, yeah three hell. years now. <laughs> it's crazy because I feel like I just got it. I don't know. Every I think storing it does that too. You know, feel like every year I feel like I just get the car again. Are you right, son? No, they're not. Oh, I don't know why they're fried and I don't know what's going on. Maybe because they see that their lights are on in the car because they're like, oh, your lights are on. I don't get it. No. Remember when you were a kid and your parents would tell you, oh, you're gonna get you're in trouble if the lights yeah. are in the car. And I was don't like, oh, man, the lights are. I'm gonna get pulled over. I'm not even gonna lie. I believe that until you told me otherwise. Oh, I did too. Yeah. I was like, I was like, dude. So that's all I do. And when I take it out of storage. Pull the e-brake, take it off the, the wood, you know, put the wood away. Just, you know, unplug your battery tender, put everything back together. I have a battery cover. I have to put that back on the Mustang. And do some pulls uh, down the street. Do quarter miles right away. No, <laughs> no, do not do that. Don't. Okay. You What you do is you take the box out, battery tender out. Uh, you start the car and you let it heat up to operating temperature. Then you shut it off. You let it cool down for a few minutes and then you change the oil. oil. Actually, you should maybe change the oil before you store it too. I have been in, in this year. I, yeah, no, I did that this year too. So yeah, I just change it before and after storing it. Uh, just just because yeah, it's I mean, good for it, you know? It's it's just a good, like, not a rule of thumb, but just precautionary. Yeah, it's thing. good precautionary. It's not a big deal. I mean, yeah. Oh, you spent 50 bucks. Oh, you spent 80. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You want you want, a, you want damage on your in your car? No, yeah. you don't. Cam and all that. Whatever. Kind of stuff. Fucking clean that shit up, right? Yeah. 
So, you know, let it heat up, set it off, wait a few minutes, change the oil, and then you rip it down the street! Oh, <laughs> break in like 300 no. miles or something yeah, like that. Yeah, give it like a tank, gas. a tank of gas, and then you fill it up with the 85 and tune it and rip it down the street! <laughs> Oh God, my neighbor's gonna hate me. Vishal, this is for you. That's my neighbor. <laughs> he, uh, he, he, um, his bedroom's right next to where my, uh, <laughs> your garage. my, my garage is. So he knows all about my Mustang. Shout out to you, brother. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now we're just uh, driving in the in the Civic, going to Walmart to grab uh, some Castrol. Uh, um, oh my God, no, I forgot the name. This. Oh, we're doing pulls in the Honda now. We're doing pulls in the Honda. <laughs> uh, what was it? Not GTX. Castrol. Um, Edge. That's what I have right now. Edge yeah. Synthetic. Edge, yeah, full synthetic, of course. And um, so, because I only have four quarts remaining, so I need another four. Yep. So I take eight. Like I'm a big boy. Because it's a thirsty bitch. Yep. And I still got the Canon filter, uh, you know, oil filter, So because I had an extra one, so I still have that. So we're just going to get this done, and I'm going to really enjoy this car. So <laughs> get ready for the Mustang videos once again. Again, Mustangs. Again, I'm so sorry. Guys. I get to drive uh, too first, many Mustangs. Right? One of us needs to buy something different. I mean, you have a Honda, I have a Mustang, but Matt's got to change it. Matt, you got to change it, brother. Matt doesn't even do anything, though. No, no, he is stock, but at least you know you could show it if you had. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Yeah. But you know, it's gonna be a big year for us again. You know, we're gonna make plenty of videos. You know, um, at least like three a month. Yeah, at least uh, at least three a month. Yeah, it's the very least. And uh, we're hoping to bring great content, and we're really we're open. We're always open for advice, uh, you know, on on you know what videos you guys would like to see. And then now we just got here, we're gonna go in. But one last thing, I'm just gonna go briefly through everything, and I'm gonna put a timestamp to this point to make it easy. Again, before you store your car, you have to put stabilizer in the fuel tank. Make sure it's on 93 octane or just normal regular gasoline. Do not store it on 85. Then you have to change the oil. Hook it up to a battery tender, take the e-brake off, and just leave it between uh, wood so it doesn't, you know, your e-brake's yeah. not pulled the whole time. Put some and, wheel chucks. Yeah, some wheel chucks. And that's it. This is all if you're storing less than six months, I would say. Yeah. So that's before. After you take the wood away, you know, take everything away, battery tender, you want to start the car, let it get to operating temperature, shut it off, wait a few seconds, a few minutes, whatever, uh, let it cool down a little bit, then change the oil on it again. Then what you do is... What you do. What you do is you just drive it for at least 300 miles. No, you just do pulls right away. No, I mean, you drive it for at least 300 miles easy. before... Easy driving. Easy driving before you start ripping it again. And, uh, you know, I'll probably finish this tank on 93 and then switch back to 85 and that's it. Easy. Yep. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nice, short, sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed the cold start. I did. Steve did. Everybody in my I neighborhood did. I don't know what Steve, you're yeah, you did run away. <laughs> Everybody in my neighborhood, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So, um, can't wait to see you guys again. Um, the Mustang's back out yep. on the street. Finally. <laughs> and uh, you guys give us a thumbs up. Subscribe, share the video. And we'll catch you guys later with another video. I think Steve's going to post something next. So uh, keep an eye out for that.